Hey, what's going on? It's your boy BT, and I came here to talk some boxing with the thousands of True School Sports subscribers. What's going on, guys? Now, some news from BoxingScene.com. Uh, you have in the light heavyweight division. Uh, it's a pit. Now, this is this has been reported, and I have some sources close to the. Um, that I have some sources that I'm not gonna reveal, obviously. But I have some sources, some people I know in the boxing world, I've called around and I've asked about this fight, and I've gotten something different than what's been reported. So I'll get to that in a minute. But uh, it was reported on BoxingScene.com Friday on February 17th that Artur Bidabiev and Sullivan Barrera are going to be fighting each other April 21st, and none other than South Florida, Miami. So first of all, let me just say that if that is true, and and, and if I if this winds up happening, and I, I get we get a different result. Uh, as opposed to what I've heard, then this would be great because, you know, we don't get a lot of fights in South Florida. We had that Lara fight last January, or this past January, last month. Um, and now to have a, a big fight of this magnitude that's going to have, you know, in big title implications, you know, I'm, I'm excited for it. Um, it just, it's, it's, in South Florida, we're lucky to get one card a year, one major card a year. To have two in the span of uh, a four-month time period, you know, that, that's just great. So um, hopefully it happens. But... Um, here's what was, here's here's some quotes in regards to this fight. So Arthur B2B as promoter Yvonne Michel, who um, is like the man over there in Canada. Here's what Yvonne Michel had to say in regards to uh, this fight happening. He said, "I quote: It is with great pride and confidence that we see the fight in Miami, in order to allow maximum visibility for Arthur B2B to demonstrate that he can perform anywhere in the world, and also as a um, as the only aspirant who aspirant who read to face." Arthur Sullivan Rare could not cross the Canadian border. We had to, uh, pro we had promised this fight would take place in the United States. So that's what it is, man. Um, Yvonne Michel is, gonna ha is trying to get it there. He also went on and added. He said, "I quote: We are convinced that many Quebecers who are still in Florida at this time will support the person who has made Quebec a land of adoption for him and his young family." So that's that, that's what Yvonne's saying. Um, first of all, let me say this. If you guys have lived in South Florida, South Florida being anywhere from Boca Raton and West Palm Beach all the way down to the Keys, you know that around the winter times, the freaking Canadians take over the damn place. So many damn Canadians that can't drive. And they order, they make crazy orders when you go to restaurants, but uh, we love them anyway. The Canadians, there are a lot of Canadians in South Florida, so maybe he will get a big crowd. Um, and hopefully the fight does happen because the winner is supposed to get a, get a shot at the IBF title that is currently held by none other than Andre Ward. Um, but what I've heard from my sources, guys, I have sources close to uh, the Barrera camp. Um, I've heard that the money uh, wasn't, you know, right. I've heard things. Uh, I heard that this fight might not go through. So I mean, hopefully that that's not true. And if the money isn't right, that they get it right and, and they pay Sullivan Barrera justly because. Um, you know, this is a fight that I want to see, and this is a fight that I, you know, I think is good for boxing, and this is a fight that I believe will be an entertaining one. It'll give us more clarity on the landscape of the light heavyweight division, and on top of that, it's 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 in South Florida. I mean, what 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 else what else what else would I want? I could actually be there. So uh, we'll see what happens. There's no venue yet, but the, they're saying April 21st, Barrera versus Bieber Bieber should be a good fight for Arthur Bieber Bieber. You know, it's 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 probably his biggest test in Sullivan Barrera. You know, the best version of Sullivan Barrera, in my opinion, because. Uh, the Derek Santos trained version of Sullivan Barrera is is a lot smarter. Isn't um, just using brute strength, and uh, he's actually like you know putting his punches together a lot better than when he was under Abel Sanchez. So, um, shout out to you know Derek Santos, Sullivan Barrera, and all those guys here in South Florida. Hopefully, we get this fight, um, and Arthur Bieber as well. You know, should, should be a good one. I'm looking forward to. It. Hopefully, it happens. But let me let me know, let me know what you guys think. Sullivan Barrera, Arthur Bieber. Who do you guys got winning and why? And um, who do you think has a better chance of beating Andre Ward? I know Barrera has lost to Andre Ward before, but do you feel that um, a, 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 a under Derek Santos maybe gives Ward more problems? Let me, let, me know, let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Take the time to subscribe and you can love me or you can hate me, but I'm just a kid from Dean. So until next time, take care, guys.